Let's face. Good morning to all. This morning, I'm going to do a walk. Enter Bridgestone from the Glow Up Cinema. That's crazy. So I'm going to do a walk into Bridgestone from Pinesbury Road. And this is the roundabout at the bottom of the Globe Cinema. One of the James Air Tudor roundabout. And this is the Farmer Globe Cinema. And this is the Rubis gas station here. And this is the Farmer Simpson Waters. This is where Simpson Waters used to be until 1988 when it moved from this location into Warren's. And Simpson Waters is the agent for Suzuki vehicles. They also specialize in Mercedes Benz, Isuzu, Chevrolet and Mitsubishi vehicles but back in the day when it was here there was only Mits, um, Suzuki Simpson Motors was established in 1972 and it was right here at this building here and it later became this building later became Harmony General Insurance so this area can be referred as Harmony Hall or Heinz Berry Road and this is the James Tudor roundabout so right now I'm at at the corner of Tweed Side Road. This road here will be Tweed Side Road. I will lead you back to Carrington's Village. Straight ahead will be Halls Road. That will lead you back to. That will lead you back to um, into Bridgetown. And this road here is Robert Street. And again, I look at the Rubis Gas Station and the Farmer Harmony General. Insurance company at Hinesbury Road. That's good. I will now start my walk into Bridgetown. And again, this is the Farmer Globe Cinema and Theatre. Which is no clothes. So I will start my walk into Bridgestone via Robert Street. So I'm now walking into Robert Street, walk, walking through Robert Street. So yes guys, this is the town area. This is Robert Street in Bridgetown. And this is the bus depot where the government big blue and yellow buses. This is the main headquarters for the Barbados Transport Board buses. The big blue and yellow buses owned by the government. It is known as Weymouth. Weymouth Depot. Yeah, yeah. The Barbados Transport Board has three depots on the island. One here at Weymouth, which is in Bridgetown, and one in Mangrove, which is in St. Philip in the east, and one at Down Spikestown, which is in the north, in the parish of St. Philip, uh, in the parish of St. Peter, sorry. So this is Robert Street now. This is me into Bridgetown, and this is MB Auto City. I think Acme Manufacturing was somewhere out here years ago, many years ago. So again, this is the bus depot at Weymouth, which is the headquarters for the main big blue and yellow buses, known as the Barbados Transport Board buses. They referred as Weymouth. And 
this is the Leo May gas station over here and this is the police sports club at Weymouth and this is the gas station here at Weymouth opposite Weymouth I think someone corrected me and told me it was Leo May or something like that This is a good year tire garage here. And this is Perry Gap. We we'll, should take you by the Paradox. And this is the bus depot at Weymouth. Where the buses park. And this is ICBL, which is Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited. And it was the former modern high school. This is where my mother went to school, received her secondary education. My mother, aunt, my mother, my aunts and uncles, all my, all my mother, my mother, my aunts and uncles all uh, attended school here at uh, Modern. So this is no insurance corporation of barbados limited the modern high school officially closed in 1978 and some of the students had to relocate to wait field and other schools and the founder was louis lynch and this is a statue of him here louis albert dewitt lynch december born december 23rd 1916 and died march 7th 1969 founder and principal of the modern high school and from 1944 to 1969 Mayor of Bridgetown 1962 to 1963, Member of Parliament, City of Bridgetown 1961 to 1969, Founding Member, President Lions Club 1961, President of the Barbados Olympic Association, Barbados Table Tennis Association, Barbados Mental Health Association, Amateur Athletic Association, and the Boxing Association. So this is the statue of Louis Link, who was the founder of the Modern High School, which is in, was in this building here which is now ICBL, which is Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited. Uh, this is VM up here, the bus depot. Again, you can look at the Lynch statue on ICBL, which is was once in modern high school. And this is VM bus depot here. And this is the realm of corporate center which is also a part of icbl realm of corporate center over here so this is robert street which is in bridgetown yeah. This is the section here with the um, electric buses park. Yeah. That's good. This is the section here with the electric buses park. The electric buses which came down in February of 2020. This is their loading bay here, and this is the charger ports for them. So, UCAL also operates in here. UCAL is the people that fix transfer board buses. UCAL stands for United Auto Works Commercial Limited. Those are the ones who fix the buses. So this is the charger port for the electric buses here. So this is Robert Street, which is in Bridgetown. Uh, this road here will lead you back to um, 
Passage Road. This area is known as Country Road. St. Michael, we believe about a Passage Road and Bank Hall and White Park Road. So this is Robert Street in Bridgetown. And this is another transport board bus here. This one has been scrapped. So it is no longer in use. This is Large Court here, which is a wasn't a supermarket, it wasn't here years ago. This is Large Court. And here another transport board bus which has been scrapped. So it's no longer in use. They will no longer be used again. Yes, guys, Bridgetown is the capital of Barbados. So this is Robert Street. And this was Lowe's Laundry years ago. Lowe's Laundry used to be in here years ago. This is the Calvary Raven Church, which was established in 1894. And it was once Robert's Boys School, which was in here until 1982 as well. Calvary Raven Church at Robert Street. And this is the Hill Supermarket, Lionel C. Hill Supermarket. And this is the Barbados Labour Party, the headquarters, which is the ruling party at present. Their head office is in here. And this is the Red Dragon Chinese restaurant over here as well. So again, a look at the Hill Supermarket. And this is the entrance to Harrison's College, which is one of Barbados' top and all the secondary schools. It was established in 1733. That's great. This is Robert Street in Bridgetown. And this is Clums Bakery. Uh, this is the little alley that will lead you back to Greenfield, which is another um, village in the city. And this is the Metropolitan Bookshop and High School. Let's go look back at Robert Street, back to the Calvin Raven Church, the Hills to the Market, and the Barbados Labour Party head office as well. Okay, this is all Bridgetown in Barbados, which is the capital. Bridgetown is the capital of Barbados. Now we can see the Weymouth Corporate Center from here as well. And this is the Metropolitan High School, which was founded by Mr. Olivier Cox. Mr. Cox was the owner of Metropolitan High School, died, I think last year, he died. Yes, guys, this is Robert Street in Bridgetown. And we can see the Central Bank of Barbados as well, which is best referred to as the Tom Adams. Financial Center. Morning, morning. Across the nice sugar cane wall. And this is the key shop, the key shop, which is owned by Evelyn and Roach. Evelyn Roach Enterprises is the owner of the key shop.
So I'm gonna turn to the right and head towards Probing. I mean Penfold Street, where the YMCA was, and take you back to the old library. Straight ahead will lead you back into Bridgetown with further into town with um Swan Street and the Central Bank and Robert Street and so on. On the left turn will take you back to Frontenac Street and back to the side of the Harrison's College School and back to the Constitution River and into the bus stand. And this is the Kingsley store, which is an appliance and furniture store. Kingsley store here. And this is Pumpton Street here, which is about the Harrison's College and back to the Constitution River. And this is what the street back into um, Bridgetown with Robert Street and Swan Street and Central Bank. So this is Pink Forest Street that I'm walking now. Headed towards the site where YMCA was. And this is Quitchlaw's Alley through here. So this is Painful Street in the city. Some new additions have been made to the area. And this is the YMCA, the other half of the YMCA, because the original half has been demolished. It was in a state of disrepair for the longest while, so now they demolish it. I went to camp at YMCA years ago. So this is the YMCA car park here. And this is green fields here. And this is the fountain here. This is a new building to the area, a new addition. I'm not sure what the name of the building is. This is the car park here as well. All YMCA car park. For those of you who don't know what YMCA stands for, it stands for the Young Men's Christian Association. YMCA build youth, build a better Barbados. And in the background, we can see the new court. The new High Court and this is Clico Corporate Office here. Straight ahead will lead back to White Park Road. Um, Passage Road and the Biscuit Factory. And this is Clico Corporate Center here. And this is Venus Building. We will come across a number of attorneys at law. Looking back at the YMCA, and this is the Barbers Agency for Micro Enterprise Development. Yes, guys. So this is now um, Pinfall Street in Bridgetown. So all this is Bridgetown, and this is the Walker House with Walker and White Limited. So 
now approaching Magazine Lane in Bridgetown. And this is Equity House where you'll come across Value Optical. And this pink building here is the Police Certificate of Character Office. Over here. And this is Heritage House. Over here. Which is where you come across some more attorneys at law. So this is the Police Certificate of Character Office. Here. No reporting magazine lane on Coleridge Street where the old library used to be. This is Token Fourth Street. And from here you can see the Jewish synagogue here. Looking again at the old court and the National Library Service Building. We're looking towards Coleridge Street. Coleridge Street was named after Bishop William Park Coleridge, who was the Bishop of Barbados. And this is the Central Police Station, which is the main police station here in Barbados. And this is Magazine Lane here. Or Synagogue Lane. This is Synagogue Lane, sorry. This is the old National Library Service Building known as the Carnegie Building and straight ahead is White Park Road. I will take you back there shortly and they are doing some work on the old court building. This is where the court used to be. The court is now up here now. And this is the Montefiore statue monument over here. So this is the old high court. And next door is the old National Library Service Building. So this is the old High Court here. It's straight up to White Park Road. And this is Coleridge Street, which is in Bridgetown. And this is the Central Police Station over here. Central Police Station here. And this is the Jewish synagogue. This is the Jewish synagogue here. I will give you more detail on this building some other thing. But right now I'm gonna take you back up to where the court, the new court. It says the Barbados Synagogue Historic District Entrance. So this is the Jewish Synagogue over here. So this is the Central Police Station and the Old High Court. The National Library Service Building in the background. As you can see, they are doing work on the old high court. And this is the British American Offshore um, Insurance Company. Looking back at the Montefiore Monument here as well. Again, the entrance to the old court and the National Library Service. 
So this is the old library, not the Carnegie building. The Carnegie building. And the brief history underneath. library the free library so headed up to white park road now this is Coleridge street as i said before Coleridge street was named after bishop william hart Coleridge, who was the bishop of barbados back in the 1800s bishop Coleridge. that's how the name Coleridge street came about and now headed towards White Park Road, which is a Muslim neighborhood. Mostly, a lot of Muslims live in these areas here. And these streets here will lead you back to Baxter's Road. This is White Park Road now. And the Medina City Masjid, where the mosque is, is through here. And this is Beacon House. <clears throat> and this is Beacon House. And this is Wall Run Street. That will lead you back to Corner Street, back to I mean, about the pain for street by the YMCA and Clico. And this is the new high court. Yeah, I can travel. I good. Okay, this is the new high court here, the new Supreme Court. And this is the Geddes Grant building, I forgot to show you. And Mount Gerram is in the background. Mount Gerram was established in 1703. I'm not sure what Mount Gear has in that building because I know Mount Gerram is normally distilled in St. Lucie, not even normally manufactured in St. Lucie. I'm not sure what they have there. So, this is the Geddes Grant building, this blue building here. And this is the three court office here. This is the white park house. This is the Supreme Court here, a new court. And this is like foot lane, which will also lead back to Baxter's Road. As I said before, lots of Muslims, Muslim Indians reside in this community here. Like foot lane through here. Lots of Muslims reside in this area. Lots of Muslims reside in Bridgetown on the whole. This is the new Supreme Court over here. So this is White Park Road now, which is in Bridgetown. This is leading you from Bridgetown, out of town, into Bank Hall, the new Supreme Court at White Park Road in Bridgetown. Now approaching Gills Road where the biscuit factory is, known as the West India Biscuit Company. And this is Chapman Street, which also leads back to Baxter's Road. We will come across the Chapman Street Church of God. 
But Stage Road is a village in the city which is also a lively street. It is known as the street that never sleeps. But Stage Road. And this is Gills Road now. Looking towards King Street. King Street is the road to the right here. King Street. And straight up is White Park Road and Bike Hall. And this is the Biscuit Factory. Also known as the West India Biscuit Company. And this is Gills Road in St. Michael. The Biscuit Factory. Which is best known as the West India Biscuit Company. Or it can best be referred to as Webisco. And this is the site of the Supreme Court. And this is the Bisco over here. So this is Gills Road, which is another village in the city. This is Gills Road. And this is the West India Biscuit Company, also known as Webisco. This is where we manufacture the Eclipse Biscuits, Soda Biscuits, Tea Time Biscuits, and the um, and the Shirley Biscuits. And this is the Biscuit Company here. Looking back to King Street and back to White Park Road. Disco here, the West India Biscuit Company. So this is the we'll end of video here at the West India Biscuit Company at Gills Road, Bridgetown, St. Michael Thanks for watching now and have a blessed morning.